Yeah, Amber and Joel, and while I can be of some help when it comes to wild turkeys and cicadas, when it comes to snakes, uh, you can count me out. And experts say it's actually better that way, as the best way to avoid snake bites is by leaving the snakes alone. As the warmer months bring out some slithery creatures in search of food and shelter, Trustbet and Carrie says it's bringing in more patients as well. We've been probably seeing one to two cases, one to two snake bites per week. Dr. Brad Wafa says most bites occur when snakes are deliberately tampered with. And if the unwelcome guests happen to be nearby or curled up in this grill cabinet, for example, experts say to leave them be. If it's a situation to where they're off, you know, kind of to the side or not really in harm's way or near any any like traffic, you know, if you leave them alone, chances are in a couple hours they're going to be completely gone and off your property. Stephen Pryor has helped relocate a couple of snakes, including venomous ones, from homes across the Triangle. And while in some cases, such as one incident in Fuquay, Verena, where a police officer was in the neighborhood to help get a snake off the property, Pryor says to let the experts handle it. You don't want to go off, you know, killing snakes. They're great for the environment, keeping away different pests and stuff. Um, you know, it's unfortunate the encounters happen, but you you want to you, you don't want to put yourself in a situation to where you're harm you know putting yourself in harm and so Pryor says there's even a Facebook group out there where North Carolinians uh, can reach out for help and there's experts who will come to your house for free uh, to just help relocate those snakes. And as for your pets, Dr. Waffa says on trails such as this one, just keep a close eye on them, uh, just making sure that they're staying out of harm's way.